So, welcome to this um, second video in uh, my little series called uh, Favorite Flies of the North. Uh, the fly I'm going to be tying today is uh, another one of my own patterns. It's called Arrow Wing Palmer Coachman. It's inspired by the Coachman pattern, but um, sort of a li little bit more modern uh, twist on it. So the first material I'm, I'm going to tie in is this um, thin uh, gold wire, which is going to be the rib of the fly. And I'm going to go a little bit far back on the on the hook shank. All right, then we're going to tie in two uh, peacock curls, which is going to be the body of the fly. I'm just going to tie those down all the way, and I'm going to go a little bit back here until right there, so that I get like uh, one or two turns of peacock curl before the hackle comes in. And the hackle is a brown uh, rooster. The saddle hackle. I'm just going to tie this one in on top, like that. I'm going to go herself forward here. Leave good room uh, for the head of the fly. All right. So the first thing we start with is the uh, peacock curl, and I like to wrap the the peacock curl the opposite direction of the of the ribbing. I'm going to do the same with the hackle so that the ribbing will be securing both the peacock curl and the hackle. Well, this is a really good pattern. I've caught fish on it all through the season, you know, from the from the very first trip of the year up until the very last trip in in October. This pattern just it's really great all round pattern. Right, so next we're gonna wrap the hackle. And um, you see I've chosen a hackle that is just maybe a little bit under a uh, under the normal hook size. This is like a size 15 hackle, and I'm using a size 14 hook. Alright, so again, I'm sorry this is a little bit awkward because I do have a camera between me and the, and the fly. But that looks really good. Next, I'm going to place down the ribbing. Alright, before I place down the ribbing, I'm going to tell you why I didn't tie in the hackle at the end. It's because I don't want fibers sticking out backwards. Uh, these are only going to be legs, and after I tie down the ribbing, I'm going to trim above and below. So there's only a few fibers sticking out each side. I go a little bit backward here because, as I said, I need plenty of space for the head. Now I'm going to trim the hackle first uh, above, making sure that's good. All right. I can turn my fly around. I'm using an old vise. It's not a true rotary vise, so. There we go. Now I, ha now I have a nice body, uh, wide, very flat 
you know this is supposed to lay uh, very heavy in the in the surface uh, imitating you know the the cow dung that has been uh, struck down onto water or uh, even caddis flies and all right so next is the wing which is the uh, aero dry wing from uh, Tiemco an amazing material but you could always use you know uh, regular poly yarn as well or parapost yarn and I tie this like this is one strand and I tie it parallel to the hook shank one end back and, and one facing forward and then I fold it over and this helps to create that big head I want you see I want a huge head on this fly I'm going to cover up all of this now with tying thread and this head I'm going to varnish probably two, three or even four times because I want it shiny, I want it almost like a bead head Before I trim the wing I like to finish off the head. Next is to uh, trim the wing and the wing should be about the length of the hook. So, you know, a good he head length behind the end of the hook bend. So, right about there. Uh, that's even a little bit too long. Can slightly go in here and like that. That's a perfect wing. I can trim the thread as well. Alright, feel free to try out this fly with uh, other uh, colors on the hackle. Uh, black, um, grey, uh, blue done. Um, but brown is the you know, color I use the most. And that's, you know, you can see the resemblance to a, a common uh, coachman. You know, peacock body, brown hackle, and, and the, the white wing. Alright, there you go. That's the Arrow Wing uh, Palmer Coachman. Uh, really good pattern. I, uh, I really encourage you to try this one. It has given me uh, lots and lots of fish over the years. Um, good spring pattern. Uh, can imitate anything from mosquitoes to cow dungs, um, caddis, um, a, a lot of different things. Probably even mayfly emergers or, or something like that. Uh, simple pattern uh, floats really well. So uh, you could put a dropper off this one if you if you uh, do that stuff. Um, yeah, so that's my second fly of the Favorite Flies of the North uh, series that I'm doing now. I really hope you like this video and, uh, and maybe hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel Arctic Riverside Fly Fishing and uh, thanks for watching, goodbye.